go to insert table and it'll ask you for your initial size in terms of columns and rows. Don't worry, you can always change this later. So just pick something rough. You then get something similar to the controls you would have with Google Sheets. So you can start inputting your text. You can also modify the number of columns and rows. So I'm going to insert a new column to the left. You will then get a predefined gray outline of this table. Interestingly enough, in each of the cells, you'll get this drop down, which appears to show how you want to actually add the lines to the table. No matter what you pick, it actually just keeps the same design. But for example, if I wanted these lines to be invisible, I could actually just go up and select the lines individually. It can be a bit tricky to pick them, but you can actually just click them individually. So I could then start shift selecting the lines. As I mentioned, it's a little bit tricky, but you can get a hang of it. And I could say, change this to white. So it goes under the border color like you would with shapes. So I can just change it to white or whatever the background is. And this actually gets rid of the lines if you want to do that for your table. The rest is pretty much straightforward. You can use the same options as you do in Google Sheets and create your table and build it up from there.